We're talking uh, Arizona Wildcats football here on Mark Rogers TV. We bring in uh, Shereen Ryan from the Zona Zealots. Uh, so join her there for Arizona sports coverage on the Fan Sided uh, Network. Shereen, how are you doing tonight? I'm great. I'm great. And our site is like quadrupled in views. So since I last talked to you, a lot's been going on. We're getting a lot more attention. Maybe because we're positive. Uh, I was just going to say, how did that happen? What's the big strategy? You can fill me in. <laughs> I, I I really feel like, you know, we are a fan site, but and we, we may be termed homers sometimes, but I think we want to, we give a more realistic approach and we're not trying to shove the coaches out of jobs or out of Tucson. Like we'd rather coaches stay, players be happy, um, and we're not like TMZ or media where we're like, okay, well, I think this coach should go take that job because he'd make more money. Well, there's more to it than that. There's legacy. There's is a right fit. It's, you know, so I think, um, I don't know. I think we're gaining a lot of followers on social media and um, I've been doing a lot more interacting with, with fans, but they have a lot to say and, you know, we give them a platform for that. So. How positive would you be if you won more than one Pac-12 football game? We won the Territorial Cup. <laughs> You did win the, the important one. If you could only choose one, that would be the one. That would be the, the one. Rights. At the end of the season, they pulled it together. And you know, it was really, um, it was a hard, hard, hard season. You talk to any player, I was talking to Jacob Alcidek and you know, just asked him, like, he just wants to put it behind him and now he's taking no prisoners. So um, he's not the only one. There's a lot of leaders, uh, Dane Krukshank, on the defense, um, you know, Khalil Tate, Brandon Dawkins, it's like, take no prisoners right now. You know, you will work or you will not be playing. <laughs> Green Ryan from Zona Zealots uh, talking some Arizona football with us. So, uh, yeah, despite the rough uh, go in, in 2016, recruiting is the lifeblood of any program. The last time, I think the last time we talked, uh, you had some issues with Willie Taggart's efforts there in <laughs> just, soft. The just a little bit. So just like pulling a recruit that he's never had visit. I mean, a commit, an Arizona commit that he's never had visit, and calling him at six thirty in the morning to get him to flip because he lives down the street. And but he, he never had an official visit ever, and he people all think flip, he did, right? huh? And, and it was a kid's decision. It's co you know, he wanted it, but he never got the, like, he goes, well, they came to my school, but they never visited me. They never asked for a visit, nothing. And just all of a sudden, I guess, Tagger called and says, hey, I've got an offer. I can offer you a scholarship. One just opened up. Do you want it? So Pac-12 so, Media Days is going to be really interesting. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm thinking that based on what Rich Rod has said recently about uh, wanting no signing day, that actually that might favor tactics like Willie Taggart, where he can just call up the kid. He could sign him on the spot after yep. tossing the sheet that day. So yep. Rich Rod would like no signing day. There is now an early signing period in December that uh, he seems to be in favor of, even though it's not gone to the to the extreme that he would like it. Right. He's, he, he, he thinks every day is a signing day. I, you know, I'm with him. Like if you want to commit, commit, sign your name down on the paper. I mean, it's just getting nuts out there. The flipping and the, it's just, it's not just Arizona. It's all the schools. Um, I mean, we have a former USC commit coming, uh, Mike King Johnson. So, uh, you know, it happens everywhere, I and mean, he knows it. But yeah, Taggart was—you uh, can put the Darth Vader hat on Taggart in my book. Keep well, I, I'm not going to go after him. That's all up to you. That's all. <laughs> that's all on you. I'm not going to go after him. I don't have any uh, dog in this fight between. Well, late July, I'm going to. I'm going to the Pac-12 Media Days. It's going to be fun. Nice. We need some reports out of you from there. That would be great. All right, so this early signing period I think is fantastic. So you really are committed, then you know you have a chance to put your name on the on the, on the. It works in basketball. Basketball, they love it because they just they're committed. They're done. No more coaches calling. No more. You know, there's some there's a positive to that. Um, this last minute stuff. You want to know that the coach really wants you. Um, I guess if it's your dream school, you jump on the chance. But you know that doesn't happen every day. 
Well, to your point, and also Rich Rodge's point of taking it all the way to an everyday thing is that you leave it up to the kid. So if the kid wants to continue to mull it over and think and weigh his options, he can do that. But right. also, yeah, if he wants to say, you know what, I know I'm going to X school and I am so tired of being contacted constantly and seeing all this social media uh, speculation on what I'm going to do, I'm going to settle it right now. And he has that option rather than just saying, I'm a firm commit when everyone knows, even if that individual's firmly committed and he knows it, everybody treats him like he's still out there to be recruited mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of kids do flip. But hey, once the, the signature's on the dotted line, then that would be put to bed and, the, and that individual can get on with their high school education and athletics and move on to college uh, the appropriate time. Yeah, definitely. Right. I mean, as he says, you know, if I can get a a player to visit my uh, our campus, we can sell them. But I got to get them on campus first. And then once he gets them on campus, they're pretty much sold. And a lot of them go home or that day, they're like, that's it, I'm committing. And then they get a ton of attention once they start to do that. And, you know, everything unravels sometimes, but not always. <laughs>